a buzz busily running here and there. I haven't seen Maya anywhere. Hey, you! Don't touch anything! Look, I need to ask you some questions. Uh, don't look at me like I'm some sort of uncaring jock. Tell you what, pal. I'll let you ask me a few questions, alright? Uh, about Maya. I hate to break this to you, pal, but... The way things are looking now, I was the only one who could have done it. Yeah, only Maya had to put them inside the room after all. But Maya is... You can ask more about her later, pal. Right now, I've got a job to do, and that's collecting evidence. Dr. Gumpty looks like a real professional. Yet, something about his expression doesn't look the same. So, Dr. Gray was shot with a gun, huh? Shot in the forehead! But, 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 he was also stabbed in the chest with a knife. A knife. Basically, the Vic was first stabbed and he was shot. Someone's sleeping here earlier. Like, how can I help you? Ah, I'm. Uh, t that is. Uh, I. Uh, uh, like, so isn't it about time to start? Huh? Time to start what? You know, like, the channeling. Channeling? Oh, 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 no. Actually, the situation has kind of changed. Uh, like, what do you mean? Please stay calm, but there's been a murder. Uh, so, like, a murder is that thing where, like, one person kills another, right? Yes! A person has killed another person! Oh, that's, uh, what are the words I'm looking for? It's like, like, totally a bummer. Yeah! After all that effort, that's all he had to say. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to, like, introduce myself. My name is Eeny Miney. Uh, after college, I'm researching and studying parapsychology. Parapsychology? That's right. Uh, I think people, like, usually call it occult studies or something. Like supernatural phenomenon, ESP, and psychic powers, that sort of stuff. That's pretty out there. I'm Phoenix Wright, a Tony Outlaw. So, what things do you hear today? Uh, like, so, I was the one who told Dr. Gray about this place. Ask me, like, do you know of a good spirit medium? say something about being introduced to this place. Because, like, talking to dead people and, like, multiple personalities are my thing. I see. Then why were you taking a nap here? Like, I wasn't feeling good. Huh. I'm, like, allergic to sesame seeds. They, like, must have put some in the food they served for lunch. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. So I, like, felt sick and came in here to, like, sleep. I totally feel like I wasted my time because I, like, sleep a long time. So you were sleeping here the entire time? Yeah, ever since lunch. You don't know anything about the motor in your place? Like, what? How was that? I, like, totally know nothing. So who was, like, you know, killed? The sergeant of question the channeling, Dr. Gray. You and Dr. Gray know each other, right? I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? What was all that talk about him earlier? Huh? Well, uh... 
Like, a long time ago, I was like, a patient, yeah. Sounds like she's trying to hide something. before. Uh. What is it? Is it my hair? Is it too spiky? Not spiky enough? That's impeccable timing. Like, what's all the buzz? <laughs> Alright everyone, listen up. You too, pal. I'm going to give you all a brief update. Right now, it looks like the investigation is not going to be done until real late. That is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here under the roof of the Fame Manor tonight. How crazy this day turned out. I was arrested and taken away by the police. And I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. Ah, oh, morning. The rest of us have not off at some point. I hope Maya's okay. I should hurry and get to the detention center ASAP. to do. I never imagined it would turn out like this. Calm down, Maya. Take deep breaths. I think of it the first time I met her. I'll start it right here in this detention center. I finally finally get to see you again and it's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. Might as well have been me. I was too weak and I, I couldn't control the spirit's power, so... I don't want to bring up the case quite yet, but... You don't have to be nice to me. I understand. <laughs> School of Channeling? Actually, my mother is for now. But since that time has passed from mother to daughter, I guess I will be someday. Many people think that channeling isn't real, that's all just an act. You believe in us, don't you? Yeah, because I've seen it with my own eyes. Why is channeling a spirit? Oh, it's 
that thing across from him. Okay. Close our eyes. I began to channel him. Scary story. That's the last thing I remember. What? This guy comes into my body and I lose myself. I can't do this. Okay, you don't remember a single thing? arms and there was blood all over my clothes hmm. but I do remember having a dream a dream what kind of dream did you have are you channeling Back later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you prepare it, okay? Huh? It? What is it? The document requesting me to be your attorney, of course. But. been gone forever. It's only been one day. Oh, that's right. Where's that newspaper Dr. Gray bought the other day? Ah, uh, here it is. Right on top of my desk. This is the only thing he left behind that's going to be of any help. today. Probably because of the motor yesterday. <laughs> it looks like the second gun 
Let's see, is it here today? Let's check this tank and thoroughly check this room. I'm lucky, I might have covered a clue or two. Oh, it's the light. Good morning. I'm on my way to go meet Mystic Mario. I thought to bring her some time to make her feel more at home. Dropping me large strawberry desserts. So, my Mystic Maya, good sir. This is a scary lady. Sweet Mystic Maya. As did I. I should ask her some questions too while I have the chance. Ask you a few questions about what happened yesterday. That awful tragedy. That man murdered me. So I killed him. Maya! Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. After I left. Well. First, I struck Mr. Kamaya on the head. Make her go unconscious, correct? That's correct. Next, I perform the spirit severing technique. Spirit severing technique? I feel that that noise was inside of Mystic Maya's body. I used to take the other one. What if this man just wanted to be able to do this for a little while? By the way, what is this room exactly? Yeah, the chamber. This room was a crib. So, the room was a crib. It's just a crib. What do you mean? Sometimes, when an experience we can cause an expressly strong spirit, that spirit may become violent and revolt as you witnessed yesterday. Revolt? But how? When a spirit enters a human body, she loses her will and herself sets aside. To put it another way, the spirit is borrowing and being bought with it. Isn't that extremely dangerous? Himself. Strength is so great, it's even greater than some of the main family. Yes, Paul is a channeling prodigy. It is the pride of the branch family. Wow, he's really fired up now. Any case, I would have said different from you. Perhaps it's best for you to quit, good sir. Quit? Quit what? Maya. I'll tell her. 
isn't here today. At least he's at school. Oh, hey! <laughs> like, you're that guy from yesterday. The, uh, dentist guy? No, no, I'm a lawyer. Why are you still here today? Like, there's so much for me to, like, study here. Like what? Like, the medium's training or, like, how they inherit their spiritual power? I suppose! This village is the real thing, after all. So, like, I asked if I could stay here for, like, a little longer. So it seems like the carefree type that leads to the surface. Have you heard about the water? Like, totally scary. And it says with a silly smile presser on her face. So, do you know anything about it that might help? Somehow, I don't think she has a grip on reality. Let alone, what's going on here? Not the victim, Dr. Boy. I don't know who you're talking about. Like, wait, I think you asked about him like yesterday, too. That's right. Yesterday, the access to the last was... And Dr. Gray know each other, right? I don't know any Dr. Quay! Oh, well, eh? What was all that talk about him all there? Ah! Well, uh... Like, a long, long time ago, I was, like, a patient, yeah! Okay, so he's definitely hiding something from me. Like, is something wrong? Ah! You surprised me! And how are you today? is an open to friendly chatting. Huh? She's still holding something in her hand. Looks like a 
same case he had yesterday. Oh yeah, Maya said to give this to you. Ah, I'm in trouble now! Morgan sees us like this. How many next one though channeling? <laughs> that's that's Mystic Myers. Uh, she actually spoke. Who are you? I'm Phoenix White. I uh walked with Maya. You walked with Mystic Maya? You you're Mr. Nick, right? Uh excuse me? Did I know who she picked Nick up from? I know who you are. You're, you're Mystic Maya's special someone. W what? So then, of course, you're going to help Mystic Maya, aren't you? That's what you're going to do, right? Well, yeah, I will. Oh, wow, it's like a beautiful fairy tale. That honest look shining brightly in your eyes. It must be true love. What? I'm just being boiled to a point where I'd love to buy this little kid. I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya. What a wonderful relationship. Wait, I, uh, <laughs> I mean, what? Things don't like. <laughs> I can tell you're a good person. All right, Mr. Nick. Maybe small, but I'm going to help you in any way I can. Aw, <laughs> are you friends of Maya? You're very grateful to be friends of her. She's so great. I want to be like Mr. Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Wow, I had no idea Maya was so clever. Call you paw. So, Mr. Nick, um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this Margaret Gatama? Yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. But I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge this Magatama of spiritual energy. Spiritual energy? So you're going to be her lawyer, I bet. Yes. Oh. I really feel bad for you, pal. Just as once. I wish I could be on your side. Such a gumshoe. 
Yeah, but I shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to you. Hey, you're a cute kid. <laughs> I'm not scary. Honest. Wow. I never knew Gumshoe liked kids. Hey, I know. i say something cool. How's this? It's a real, genuine pistol. D Detective Gumshoe! What are you doing, so close something that dangerous? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Maya and charges against her. I don't think you can win, pal. You're talking about proof you got a few pieces. You got pieces? You got proof? Yeah, pal. That puffy head photographer is going to testify tomorrow. What are you talking about, Lana? I'm actually speaking of Lana. Check some hot pictures on there. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures at the motor scene inside. Besides, you must have really been out there. No way anyone other than Maya Faye could have done it. Let's talk to them. The victim wasn't super famous, but he still knew who he was. This was all over those tablets shown yes last year. Yeah, I know. I flipped through some newspapers from last year and... Huh? I could have sworn I had it. I cut an article out, but I guess I must have lost it. He's searching through his pockets and boy, are those big. Hmm. It looks really interesting, too. Hey, do you have a copy, pal? A copy of that article? I think Dr. Gray might have brought a copy to the office when he came by. Uh, Dr. Gray brought this over to my office the other day, and... Hey! It's that news story! The one about this malpractice suit! I've seen patients die and it caused a huge stink. Yeah, but that's not all, pal! Things only got worse after that! You mean the car accident the nurse died in? Hmm. Oh, here you go! I brought my own clipping with me today. Here, yeah, pal! This is for you! Alright, thanks. <laughs> About my last try tomorrow. I've got two pieces of news for you, pal. Two? Yeah, bad news, even worse news. So what do you want to hear first? I don't want to care. Doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to like it. Alright, pal? Well, the prosecutor for the trial is Prosecutor Von Karma. What? Von Karma? Manfred Von Karma. He was an all inspiring family prosecutor. He never lost a case in his 40 year career. And he raised a fearsome cycle. The poor boy has to chase him. Second. Then Von Karma stand trial and until the other piece of bad news comes in. Von Karma, your best tomorrow is actually his successor. Successor. So, uh, who is the successor to Von Karma? The only pal is prosecutor Von Karma's kid. This kid became a prosecutor real young, like 13, and hasn't lost a trial since. Huh? Wait a sec. 13? The kid became a prosecutor at the age of 13? I mean, a party like that? I would have heard something about. Oh no, no. The kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. He took a lot of stuff in his great place to develop a person's talent. Germany, huh? I don't know why I've never heard of this person. Oh, so, all it takes is someone mentioned the name Von Karma. I get a terrible flashbacks to that case. Stop it! Get a grip on yourself, Phoenix! None of that matters anymore. Now that he's gone.
Hello again. We seem to be seeing you live each other today. Aw, she's like totally cute. Is she like your daughter? What? No! How do you think I am? I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. I like totally don't know him. Time on this person. And let's remove that lock! I have no idea what she's talking about, but guess I'll give it a try! You must be careful though, Mr. Neck. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you. If you don't think you have the proof you need, you must have the cords to stop. Well, let's start somewhere. Let's give this deck locking a try. Newspaper clipping. Like, what is it? A story about an accident? Please read the victim's name. Uh, Mimi Miney? Miney is a pretty real last name, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I need to make the fourth wall here for a second. They had a brother named Mo. It'd be eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> this meeny, miny wouldn't have to be a relative of yours, would she? So you noticed. She was my older sister. Sorry about your loss. Your sister. Is she a nurse? You have the Dr. Gray's Surgical Clinic? Gray's Surgical Clinic? I don't think I need to tell you that the clinic was run by the victim, Dr. Tono Gray. This is how you know Dr. Gray. You knew him through your sister. Please, tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. My, my sister's name was Mimi Miney. She was like a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. That's what I thought. I heard that like Dr. Gray was really tough on people, like a total slave driver. My sister was like always coming home drunk and wiped out because he was overwhelmed. Yeah. So is that why she fell asleep at the wheel? Why? Pretty easy, but 
many people who aren't as willing to give in later on. If you don't have enough proof, be careful and know when to stop trying. Mr. Nick? Hmm? What's wrong? I have never left Coin Village. Really? Wow, that's, uh, pretty amazing. You're going to meet with Mr. Kamaya, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Hey! Wait! He ran off. Again. I know any secret now, but... I still don't have any idea how I'm going to save Maya. I don't even know if I should go in there with a smile or a straight face. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time. Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Must be Maya. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? That voice! Mia! You would have thought we'd be here, and that's if you want to stand on your own. Mia, this is Maya's older sister, and my mentor. He's listened. I see. Mia, what am I supposed to do? Pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. And, and that is? Tell me, please! Believe in your convictions. And fight for the complete acquittal of your client. Maya's not guilty? How can you be so soft? I know she is. I'll give you a hint as to why. Yes? Dreams can't have dreams. They can't? From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a dream while channeling. Yeah, she said she dreamt that she had died and had been buried in the ground. But that is impossible. You heard it from her, I'm sure, when we channels her own spirit disappears. That it's impossible for it to dream during that time. Then, what does this mean? I think it's safe to think that Maya was set up. Set up? You need to blow the lid on this case tomorrow and see how she was set up. How am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? You're looking for a clue, it's already in your hands. It, it is? And then it sounds, Phoenix, you already hold the key. Really? Come on, give me the key to this case. The key, huh? Alright, I shall try it. The key I hold. Yeah, have you seen this key before? Ah, the key. It's really the key to understanding everything that's happened in this case. This key. Phoenix, listen. Right now, that key is sitting in your hand. However, it's soon for you contradicts the facts. What does he mean? 
son steal the piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. You already know everything you need to know. You know what the key to this case is. That is enough. But, but, how can I win tomorrow without knowing who the real motor is? Who, who could have... Going on. <laughs> 